This video emphasizes the importance of regular measurement of bushings. It shows the influence of humidity and explains why measuring at different frequencies is essential for meaningful measurement results. Bushings are used to connect transformer windings to the outside world. They must resist high voltages and high currents. To build high voltage bushings with diameters as small as possible, it is necessary to control the potential progression within the insulation. Internal graded control layers are used to provide an even voltage distribution. Such high voltage bushings are also called capacitive bushings. A measurement connection at the flange on the grounded side of the bushing allows for measuring the high voltage capacity C1 and the power factor or the dissipation factor. This is what typical measurement taps of high voltage bushings look like. It is important to not only regularly measure the dissipation factor or the power factor of a bushing, but also its capacitance values. The graph displays the progression over 15 years. Between 1981 and 83, the dissipation factor has risen considerably, and between 1987 and 89, it declined again. The capacitance values curve shows why. The strong incline between 1985 and 1987 by almost 25% shows that partial isolations between capacitive layers have been short-circuited. An explosion of a high-voltage bushing may lead to the destruction of a whole transformer. Therefore, bushings should be re-measured approximately every four years and changed if allowable limits for the power factor or the dissipation factor and the rise in capacitance are exceeded. Humidity has a lot of influence on the dissipation factor or the power factor. This 220 kV resin impregnated bushing has been stored outdoors without any protective measures. The active part did not rest sealed under oil as would be the case within a transformer. Immediately after removing it from the transformer, this curve has been recorded. Three months later, another measurement was made. The minimum is visible now and the level is higher in general. Half a year after removal, the minimum has moved further to the right. This value corresponds at 50 Hz to a dissipation factor of around 0.65%. That is more than double the original value. The curves have shifted completely. We see that moisture or humidity creates higher power factor values or dissipation factor values and the minimums move towards higher frequencies. Comparing frequency responses is considerably more sensitive to small changes than a measurement solely at mains frequency. This measurement of an oil circuit breaker has been recorded in the USA. Six capacitively controlled bushings were compared with each other. The table shows capacity and the power factor at 10 kV. No conspicuous differences can be noted between the bushings. This is the distribution of the power factor values of the six bushings at 60 Hz. The values are close to each other. The bushings only display a different behavior if their frequency responses are compared. The best bushing is number 6. The minimum is not visible. With bushing 1, the minimum is already visible. With bushing 5, the minimum is almost at 80 Hz and the power factor is considerably higher. While all bushings are in order and are without the danger of a dielectric breakdown, Distinct differences are visible, much more than they would be at 60 Hz. At low frequencies, these differences are most distinct, so it is reasonable to measure there. Again, 
we see that comparing frequency responses reacts with much higher sensitivity to small changes than a measurement solely at mains frequency. Now we see an example where high frequencies enable a better diagnosis. Measuring five 110 kV resin impregnated bushings, one measurement deviates considerably from the others. For small frequencies, the curves do not lie far from each other, but for higher frequencies, they drift apart extremely. Here the dissipation factor, or the power factor, rises almost linearly with the frequency. This behavior resembles that of a serial equivalent circuit. This indicates that either the measurement tap or the high voltage layer is poorly connected. A second measurement at 2, 4, 8, 10, and 12 kV verifies this result. The dissipation factor or the power factor of the bushing 2V becomes smaller for high voltages since the ohmic resistance of a bad contact decreases with higher voltages. This is a very dangerous situation, since a lot of heat can build up locally and result in disruptive discharges being introduced.